player first games I believe they are and they're gonna get a chance to prove that to everyone multiverses is a free-to-play game the game is very well made it's a lot of fun and I believe it's gonna be very successful but there is a problem the gleamium problem look at the pricing of the gleamium that's going to cost you real money you want to pay attention to the pricing because you're going to have your mind blown when you see how much you'll have to spend to get this stuff in my opinion and i believe you will agree it's unacceptable so multiverses free to play that's good more people will play what's not good is the pricing of some of these skins and ring knockouts so right now you have 13 skins you can buy with real money if you buy those 13 skins it will cost you one hundred and five dollars for 13 skins 13 skins for a hundred and five dollars that's insane you may find a handful of people that are willing to do it but the majority will not do it so I think they're being short-sighted trying to get all this money now instead of playing the long game and making a lot more money through longevity and the quality of your game just believing that people will continue to play it they'll continue to spend reasonable amounts of money on your game so ring knockouts there's something that you see when you knock someone out of the ring and you see it for a second well there's eight of them right now and if you bought all eight that would cost you 75 bucks $75 for eight ring knockouts. That is crazy. Who in the world is going to buy all those? Seriously. I think this is severely overpriced, just like the skins. Once again, I hope that they take a step back and price these things reasonable. Announcers. 100 gleamium per announcer there's 15 it would cost you $15 for 15 announcers all right the battle pass the battle pass is 300 so you'd have to spend five to get the battle pass all right so all in all if you bought the 13 skins the eight ring outs the 15 announcers and the battle pass you would be over two hundred dollars into the game already that is insane in my opinion i believe the best course of action is to take all the skins the ring knockouts the announcers and just put it all in the battle pass Increase the battle pass from $5 to $20. Alright, so the game is free to play. You spend 20 bucks on the battle pass. With the 13 skins included. So now you're up to 15, 17 skins total. You're up to maybe 10, 11 ring outs. And you got 15 announcers. Plus everything else in the battle pass that you already have that is a hefty beefy good value battle pass 20 bucks the game is free to play I promise you the majority of people would go with that versus the small 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 amount of people that will pay you 200 something dollars for this stuff so you may get let's just say you get let's just say you get a thousand people you get a thousand people to give you over two hundred dollars for this stuff well if you were to put all this in a battle pass for 20 
I promise you the potential is there to get over to get hundreds of thousands if not a million people to spend 20 bucks they'll feel good about it they'll feel as if they're getting value and you'll make a lot more money I promise you believe in your product believe in the quality believe in the longevity that it will have play the long game $20 for the battle pass fill it with all this stuff and then every time you have new content new battle pass that's another 20 before you know it you would have received a couple hundred dollars from the majority of the players who play your game because 20 bucks you get all that stuff you feel good about it the best way to get money from players from a free-to-play game is to make them feel good about what they're buying why companies don't understand this I don't know but players first I believe they will understand and they will do it if you make people feel good about buying something they will buy and they'll buy more and more when you make people feel like they're being cheated or they're feeling like you make them feel like you feel they're stupid they're not gonna spend money right now I look at these prices and honestly that looks desperate to me it makes you look desperate charging hundred and five dollars for 13 skins and seventy five dollars for eight ring outs like this is the kind of pricing when you don't believe in your when you don't believe in your product when you don't think your game will have longevity you're, you seem desperate to get some money so I'll just relax you got a great product that's gonna do well just price things reasonable give people value people will continue to play they continue to buy the battle pass and you'll make a lot more money I promise you so anyway it's my hope that they'll watch this video if you are I thank you and I hope this does reach you and I hope that changes will be made because this game is really good it's really fun but when I look at the pricing it sours the game honestly it makes me rethink how much do I really want to play this game $105 for 13 skins $75 for 8 ring knockouts there's no way in the world I'm gonna give that kind of money for that so the game is sour to me now it's, it's just it's not very appealing now with this kind of pricing on stuff so I hope that changes are made and I believe that they will be made so if you guys don't mind please get on Twitter please share this video to the to them on Twitter or reddit wherever they may be um, if you don't want to share the video to them then politely ask them to lower the prices of the gleamium um, items because we we don't want this in the game this is not a good look all right this is not going to benefit the game all right all right thanks for watching